So a lot of the times I'm very conflicted on what to wear in the fall and spring because summertime here in the greater Toronto area, I mean, we get to wear shorts and it, it's just perfect weather. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. But come September, in the morning times, it tends to be really cold and then in the afternoon, 20, 25 degrees, so it's hot and you, you, know, you don't really know what to do. So in this time of year, I really like to find very light-fitting pants and unfortunately, I have mainly sweatpants and cargos, those are my go-to and I have a lot of athletic shorts, but you know, I have a few pair of thin pants, so I decided I need more. And with that being said, let's show you the pairs of Under Armour pants that I thought were perfect for this type of weather. So first off, this is a pair of pants that I've had for a while now. I first had these pants in a black colorway, size medium. This was about a year ago. Then I was six foot, like 145, 150 pounds. I was really slim, was you know out of shape and everything, and those fit me perfectly fine. Up until the point where I became around 160 pounds, then I kind of needed to switch over to a large. So I ended up getting this pair in gray, and I'm still looking for these men's UA Vanish pants in black. So hopefully one day they hit an Under Armour or factory house or something, and I can come across them. So let's have a quick look. So it's nice, light material. I don't think you can see how thin it is, but on the inside you can see that it has kind of like a pocket, like a short. We have zippers on the side of the pockets here with little... And at the side there's also kind of like a stripe. Not like an Adidas stripe or anything, but I don't know if it pays justice. You see that stripe there? It's like a, a ventilation stripe on the side. So already these things are very thin and very light, but that has ventilations and all the other things you need just to stay cool. So there, let's get that quickly. Now when you come down behind the knee, they have a ventilation or flexibility patch once again. It's kind of hard that I don't have this on a hanger to show you guys. And the bottom are just simple, plain, standard bottoms. They are tapered as most Under Armour pants send, uh, tend to be, you know, athletic wear, so tends to be very form-fitting, slim-fitting. You got ties on the inside and Under Armour branding around the side. Now, once again, I went for a size large. If you guys want to see the tag or the product code, we can show you the product codes under the tag here. No, that's the first pair. Men's Vanish Pants. I'm looking for a large in black, so I know. Comment below if you know somewhere that has it. Second off, I saw a great deal. It looks like someone returned these. These were on the clearance racks. But I ended up getting a pair of the UA Storm Launch Pants 2. So that would be these here. Now usually when it says Storm in Under Armour, it's somewhat water resistant, water repellent. So that's good. These kind of feel like the Storm jackets I've tried on or had before. And it does feel water repellent. The one issue I have usually though with things that are water repellent is they're not that breathable. They're not light. But once I threw these on, they felt very, very similar to the UA Vanish pants. So that's what I'm suggesting. If you want another light pair of pants, maybe this uh, UA Storm Launch pant is the one that you'll have to look for now because they may have discontinued or they're just not in stock at the moment for the Vanish. So here we go. Let's have a closer look. You got a UA logo over here. Now the pockets on these ones, they aren't zippered. So it's still nice and light, but I really prefer zippered pockets. Ties once again on the inside. And for these, I definitely, I went for a large. You can say it is heat gear. So it's heat gear, it's meant for the heat, it's meant for summer. So it should breathe, it should be breathable. So that's probably why they feel okay. Now does the side of the leg, the side of the leg does not have a breathability panel. And when I flip it inside out, you still have that mesh lining for the pockets. But along the side, it's still just the same material as the outside. Bottom of it. It's similar cuffed, but they have zips. So if you want to loosen it up a little bit, tighten it up, you have zips, it's up to you. Anyways, those are the two pants for the weather, such as fall, spring, you know, nice and cool weather. Or maybe you wear these in hot summer because you're used to the heat and climate and you love it. Personally, I like to breathe, but anyways, let's go try on these two pants. Quickly, let's just get a nice handful of both of these for a screenshot what you guys think. Enough of that. Let's go try these on. Okay, here's a look at the fit of the pants. This is the large and the vanish pants. Squat test. The lengths are just perfect. They fit nicely. Well molded to the body. Definitely suggest these. 
All right, here we go, the other pair. Sit nicely on the waist. Um, they are a little fitted around every area that shouldn't always be fitted. And the ankles, I don't know, the way it feels to zip, unzip, feels interesting. Definitely gonna have to get some wears out of this. Not as breathable as the Vanish, but decent. So that does it for another pant review that I've done. Obviously, another Under Armour review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Now, if I had to choose between the two of those, I really love the Man's UA Vanish pants. Just had a hard time finding another pair. Need to get another pair one day. But that other, that Storm pant, was almost just as good. I mean, tell me what you guys think. Go to a factory outlet or find it in a store anywhere near you. Try it on. Order it online. Try it. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that below. Until next time, guys. Take it easy.